A number of arrests over the curfew pe period, leading to a number of people being taken to court. Minister of National Security, the Honorable Marvin Dames, indicating that as officers are following their duties, the line between the law and discretion remains a fine one. He's been on them previously, and uh, he ignored that. So it's very difficult to respond to it. But as I said before, the police do have the, um, the power to use discretion in certain instances. And um, this is a conversation that I continue to have with the police. James adds that as health officials aggressively address COVID-19 issues, matters relating to the homeless must also be considered. Emergency orders are exactly what, what they are. You know, I, one of the things that I, I, I've been doing, uh, driving around the island um, and, uh, at curfew time and, and spending time with, with the officers and just having conversations, I would see um, one or two individuals, uh, and obviously they're home homeless. Uh, this certainly brings to the question that maybe we need to start looking at, and not very many, the, the homeless and see what, what we can do. And I'm certain social services and the minister will, will probably, is probably looking at, at that area to, to, to provide some level of assistance. The National Security Minister also at the time updating reporters on the state of crime nationwide, particularly during the emergency orders. Dame's telling us that things like shot spotter and drones will become a part of the police force's overall strategy to tackle crime. There's a very, very close relationship that is being developed between the police and neighborhood watch. Um, and as the, the new commissioner seeks to realign his divisional boundaries uh, and to make his moves in terms of personnel, uh, we're ensuring that that relationship is, is, is strengthened. Now, in addition to the uh, in addition to the more than 500 CCTV cameras installed around the capital last year, Dame says high crime zones will remain a key focus. We've been working on our real time crime center. Uh, our drones program is on schedule, and that will bring tremendous. Uh, capabilities uh, to this agency because we will integrate. Remember, we talk about integrating through the real time crime center, integrating all of these technologies so that you know you have drones in air 24 7 protecting our coastal um, our borders, protecting um, at sea uh, and overland, especially New Providence.